Aniston's fire training site is now accredited as part of a college campus. One more nice day weather-wise across East Alabama, and then some changes coming for the weekend. We'll have the complete forecast details coming up. Coming up in sports, we preview all of the basketball and wrestling games for the night ahead. EA and Local News starts now. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Waldrop Manufacturing, metal buildings made right here in Calhoun County. Hello, we're glad you could join us. I'm Mike Stutter. And I'm Katie Edwards. The Southern Association of Colleges and Schools has officially recognized Aniston's Fire Training Center as part of the Gadsden State Campus. The designation follows a tour of the facility by SACS officials who met with firefighters, instructors, and students during their visit. Aniston Fire Chief Jeff Waldrop says that meeting was a tremendous success and it led to an excellent report that had no recommendations for any changes. Aniston Mayor Jack Draper says the accreditation of the training center solidifies the city's commitment to fostering educational excellence and professional development within the region. He said the accreditation not only recognizes the center's outstanding facilities and programs, but it also sets the stage for continued growth and success in providing excellent training for future firefighter professionals. When we return, a high-speed chase in Piedmont ends with two men charged with drug trafficking. For metal buildings in Alabama and the southeast, Waldrop Manufacturing is your one-stop source. A Waldrop metal building provides the coverage and protection your investments need. They specialize in carports, RV covers, portable buildings, and storage buildings. Stop paying rent for storage. With Waldrop's price per foot, you can actually save money by buying straight from the manufacturer. Waldrop buildings are guaranteed because Waldrop manufactures buildings with U.S. Steel right here in Calhoun County. Waldrop Manufacturing, serving the entire Southeast. Give them a call today. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by WM Grocery, located in Heflin, Wadawi, Roanoke, and in Piedmont. Two Piedmont men who tried to escape after being chased by police are in the Calhoun County Jail facing drug trafficking charges. Police identify the two as Sean Daniels, 38, and Edward Johnson, 46. According to Piedmont Police Chief Nathan Johnson, his officers were called to the Dollar General parking lot on December 6th, where two men were reported to have been fighting and a gun may have been involved. When officers arrived, they found Daniels and Johnson inside a red Toyota Camry, which they tried to pull over. When police confronted Daniels, who was driving, he refused to get out of the car and instead sped away. Police chased the car at a high rate of speed to Kynes Road, where it went through a yard and the two suspects jumped out. They fled on foot as the car rolled into a fence. Inside the car, police found approximately 1.6 pounds of methamphetamine, 84 grams of cocaine, as well as prescription narcotics and drug equipment. Arrest warrants were obtained for Daniels and Johnson, and on December 7th, Piedmont Police Department and the Calhoun County Major Crimes Unit went to serve the warrants at a house in the 1300 block of Kynes Road. At the home, they found firearms, approximately a pound of marijuana, and five grams of crack cocaine. Daniels was taken into custody at this location and charged with trafficking drugs and attempting to elude police. His bond was set at $73,000. On December 11th, Johnson turned himself in at the Piedmont Police Department. He was charged with drug trafficking and attempting to elude police. His bond was set at $61,000. When we come back, Aniston's going to close off part of Noble Street next week for repaving. Since 1993, WM Grocery has been a major part of our local community. WM offers the very best in fresh produce and an outstanding meat department. WM also has many local products not found anywhere else and fresh sushi every day. If you need an event catered, come see Mrs. K at any WM store. Curbside pickup is also available for your online grocery orders. Be sure to download the WM app for all the deals of the week and shopper rewards. Go check them out today at any of their locations. We take pride in our community and appreciate your business. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Oxford Lumber. Come visit any of our locations in Oxford, Jacksonville, Talladega, and Roanoke. 
The intersection of 11th and Noble Streets in downtown Anniston will be closed two days next week as those streets can be repaved. The closure will begin at approximately 4.30 Tuesday morning and the road should reopen sometime Wednesday afternoon or evening. Barricades and LED road signs will guide traffic around the closed area. The city of Anniston has replaced two of its cardboard recycling boxes with new trailers. City officials say the old bins accepted more diverse types of recyclables, but these new trailers are designed to keep the cardboard dry when it rains. The new trailers are in the parking lots of the Anniston City Meeting Center on Noble Street and the Hodges Community Center in Golden Springs. Apparently, it's bad to get your cardboard wet. Apparently, it is. I wonder if we'll be getting wet anytime soon. Let's check in <laughs> with John Holder in the EAN Weather Center to find out, will our cardboard stay dry? Mike and Katie, if that cardboard is out Saturday night or Sunday morning, it's going to get wet. Other than that, it's dry across East Alabama. We will detail the forecast for the wet weather that's coming next. For over 60 years, Oxford Lumber has been servicing our area and our customer service has always been our main focus. Our customer service is what sets us apart from anyone else. From the moment you enter, our highly trained staff will treat you like family. To enthusiastically provide total customer satisfaction within a positive and self-fulfilling employee relations environment. Visit us at any of our four locations or at OxfordLumber.com. Maximum sunshine today across East Alabama. That led to warm temperatures, 63 for the high today, several degrees above the average. The morning low this morning at 31, still below the average for this time of year. Record high temperatures, 76, the record low at 13. And once again today, the sun rising at 640 tomorrow morning and sun setting at 436 on your Thursday night. Weather on your street Thursday night going to take you to Norwood Drive in the Golden Springs area of Anniston. The cold nights continue. We're going to see this throughout the next several days below average temperatures at night times. So we're going down into the 30s again in Golden Springs 36 for the low tonight under clear skies. Coming up on your Friday we mentioned one more nice day coming up and that will be the case coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow, sunny and dry on Fairfield Drive. That's in Eagles Landing in Jacksonville, over close to the high school. Enjoy the day there in Eagles Landing. Be a nice day for a stroll through the neighborhood with sunshine and the high tomorrow at 59. We might touch 60 on some backyard thermometers once again on your Friday afternoon. And as we look ahead to the weekend across East Alabama, we'll have some rainfall in here by Saturday night out on Ball Play Road and Knighton's Crossroads off 278 there in northern Calhoun County. We're going to see temperatures right around 60 degrees both days on Saturday and on Sunday for highs. Nighttime lows will rise up to the 40s. Rain in here again Saturday night, lasting overnight Saturday night into the first half of the day on Sunday. We think most of the day on Saturday should be dry, and the afternoon hours on Sunday will be dry. And that takes us to our seven-day forecast as we will see a 20% chance of rainfall during the day on Saturday. That will be late in the afternoon on Saturday. If you've got Christmas shopping plans, if you've got things going on as far as parties and things like that, that should not be a problem. That is towards sunset during the day on Saturday. About a 40 to 50 percent chance of a shower overnight Saturday night. Then on Sunday, we're going to see showers again in the morning hours before lunchtime, then clearing out some sunshine by the afternoon. The high at 57 degrees and temperatures continue to be right exactly where they should be for the middle of December in Alabama. 57 with sunshine on Monday and then we'll have again temperatures mainly in the 50s for highs, 30s for lows coming up all the way through the end part of next week. Well, we promised you yesterday that we would take a look at the drought monitor. And really, for us here in East Alabama, it has not changed. We are still mostly, matter of fact, I don't know if it changed any. Uh, it we're, mo it we're still mostly in a severe drought in Calhoun County, parts of Cleburne County. There's a bit of that that's basically just in a moderate drought. But for the most part, we're still in a severe drought. And close by, just the, the next county over, we are again in an extreme drought situation. So we had a little bit of rain over the weekend, but that really did not make much of an impact as we re remain in a severe drought here in East Alabama. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., I will be back here 
with your breakfast and morning forecast for your Friday. Right now, though, coming up in sports, we are in the heat of basketball and wrestling season at the high school level here in East Alabama. And, of course, Namath Pitts is on it. Namath? Thanks, John. Area games continue for some teams in East Alabama tonight, while others play non-area games. There are seven East Alabama teams that are hitting the hardwood court. Let's take a look at the matchups for tonight. The first one is an area game at the Hill. Well, not the Hill, but it's in the Waldrop Gym. And that's Walter Webber Panthers, Coach Todd Lumpkin, Coach Dempsey, both at home tonight hosting the Sacks Wildcats. Coach Ginn and the Wildcats come to Welburn. This is an area game in Class 3A. The next one features the Aniston Bulldogs boys, not the girls, just the boys. This is a non-area game. Again, at Aniston tonight, the Bulldogs will host the Golden Bears of Lincoln at Aniston. The next one is boys and girls, and this is also a non-area game. It's Coach Hood and the Pleasant Valley Raiders at home tonight, hosting Bo Wynn and the Weaver Bearcats. Coach Wynn's team coming off a gritty win at Welburn. The girls coming off a loss to Welburn. Both of them hit the road tonight to face Pleasant Valley at Pleasant Valley. It's the Jacksonville Golden Eagles that are getting ready for a big game tomorrow, but they have a uh, not an easy game tonight. Jacksonville's at home tonight and tomorrow, where tonight they'll host the Tigers of Talladega. Talladega, uh, coached obviously by a really good coach, a really good team athletically, can shoot the ball really well. They make the trip to Jacksonville tonight to face the Golden Eagles. And then the Galesville Trojans and Jacksonville Christian Thunder. This is an area game tonight, boys and girls, up at Galesville. The Thunder coach Tommy Miller and the Jacksonville Christian Thunder will make the trip uh, just north a little bit to Galesville where they'll face the Trojans tonight. This weekend features two big wrestling tournaments in East Alabama. But before we get to this weekend, we have action that continues tonight for most teams in our coverage area. We have a preview of the night ahead, starting with Jake Mayfield in the Cleburne County Tigers, who are looking to bounce back after their first two losses in duels this past Tuesday night. They are at home tonight, hosting Alexandria and Gadsden City. Ramburn is set to host a tournament this weekend, but first they host a try meet tonight. Ramburn will welcome Ohatchee and Lincoln to their place tonight. Ramburn is coming off a Tuesday night split at White Plains. Competition gets harder for Rusty Mayfield and the Oxford Yellow Jackets. Tonight they travel to Moody. It'll be a tri meet that features Oxford, Moody, and Hoover. That'll be Class 5A, Class 6A, and Class 7A all in one gym. Todd Manning and the White Plains Wildcats broke in their new mat Tuesday night when they went 0 for 2 on the night. They host again tonight when they welcome Sacks and Alabama School for the Blind. White Plains is still without their two best wrestlers in Mason Hom and Tanner Gerald. And then Ben Carroll and the Welburn Panthers hit the road tonight again when they traveled to Susan Moore. Coach Ingram and the Bulldogs of Susan Moore are set to host Welburn, Asheville, and Shades Valley. The Panthers are coming off two wins Tuesday night at Alabama School for the Blind. That's all the action for tonight. That's it for EA and Local Sports. Let's go back over to Mike and Katie. Thank you for those updates, Namath, and thank you for watching us today. You can find us here online every weekday on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and our website, eastalabamanow.com. Just go to our video feed, watch us whenever it works for you. We'll see you back here Friday for your news on your schedule.